Here's a request I got on YouTube. This person has an interesting request. They want to be able to populate a cell with a number and then have cells below that auto populate with the number of cells equal to the number that they had entered. Um, so I'm going to move this so you can kind of follow along, uh, make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. There you go. Uh, they want that in C. So here we'll have something like enter number. And this they wanted to be uh, a list. So we'll go to data, data validation, allow a list. Um, here, uh, let's just go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We'll go to 10. Uh, you could keep going, of course. And so here we have a drop down list that we can enter a number. Um, now we're going to need to test against that number. And so there's a few ways we could do that. Uh, the one I'm going to suggest is uh, let's build it on row. So here I can type equals row, and that's going to tell me that I'm in row two. I could have also put some other cell in here, and then that would tell me, oh, that's row 10. I'm going to hit control Z. So we're back to just equals row. So we're now testing that this is row two. And then what we could do is just subtract one because we're actually starting row two would be our row one because we're using row one for that number entry. Cool, so that's that's one. And we can drag it down to make sure that that works. Sure enough, this row minus one, that works well. I'm gonna delete that. And then what I'm suggesting is that we now take this number and compare it against this number to know if it should be populated or not. And so to do that, I'm gonna put an if here. So equals if, and if that formula, and I'm going to go ahead and put this whole thing in parentheses. You actually don't need to, but I think it makes it easier to follow. Row minus one. If that's less than or equal to whatever this number is, then we want to say yes. Let's put that in quotes so it just says yes. And if not, I'm going to just do two quotes so nothing shows up. All right. Now, we don't want this C1 to drag with us. So I'm going to use uh, F4 to put dollar signs on there, or you could just enter the dollar sign, hit enter. That says yes, drag it down to here. Great, so three is yes, 10, yes, eight, great. Um, and maybe yes isn't instructive enough for you. Maybe you want something more clear in there. What you could do is take this function and replace that yes with the actual function. So it'll show you the number of the row. So you enter eight, there's eight, you enter 10, there's 10 going down. Uh, I hope that that was helpful.